Good evening, this is Dr. Ragini, Fertility Consultant from 39 Sikindarat. Now, I would like to show certain points about semen analysis. Semen analysis is a small uh, test done for male uh, to know about the male status. Like semen analysis, uh, we, we usually advise them to do after 3 days of abstinence within 5 days. Why is this period very important? Because shorter the abstinence period, like less than 3 days, then we have encountered that th they might have a decrease in the uh, semen volume and also semen concentration. Whereas longer abstinence, about more than 5 days, it is encountered that the motility might be decreased. To overcome this problem of false reports, we would usually advise them to give the semen analysis from 3 to 5 days of abstinence. So, is semen analysis uh, exact information of their fertility status? It is not. Why? Because though patients with a normal fertility, so normal semen parameters will also face the fertility issues and also and vice versa like patient with abnormal semen analysis are definitely facing the normal fertility. It's just a small test to know about grossly about this macroscopic examination of the semen. We will not know about its fertilizing capacity of the semen. There should be certain other test which has to be done to know the fertilizing capacity of the test that is sperm functioning test. Okay. Now semen analysis, some patients come with a less uh, volume of the semen is very important. If the volume of the semen is less than 2.5 ml, then we would uh, allow uh, ask them to once again do the always repeat semen analysis if there is any doubtful in the report because one test is not confirmatory about the status. So it, if in case it repeats even after the second test then we will advise them to give a post, uh, post ejaculate sample urine sample so that most sometimes these semen migrate up into the urinary bladder and that is called as retrograde ejaculation. In retrograde ejaculation many a times we see a low volume semen sample and also we will ask them to sometimes get a test done uh, to see uh, ultrasound scrotal scan to see whether there is any abnormalities in the prostate that is that the accessory glands is there any prostate seminal vesicles uh, any where there is any uh, obstruction then in these cases also we see a low volume semen and also in cases of high volume semen is seen in most commonly in case of infections where they have some prostatitis this can be corrected by giving them a short course of antibiotics next coming to the total count sometimes they come and say that ma'am the total count is only less how can we improve uh, we have certain amount of antioxidants which and certain gonadotropins and hormonal tablets which improves the total count but will it really improve uh, to a larger extent the answer would be doubtful no because uh, these uh, these treatment per se only improves to a certain extent not completely so the treatment should be the medical management for the male should be in, in parallel to the uh, other conditions like we have to option for IUI should also be given parallelly the both the treatment should be done it's not that once it is normal only we will go okay next the motility motility uh, is very important parameter because uh, the semen has to travel all its way from the cervix up till the egg which is present in the fallopian tube so progressive motility is very important that is about 32 percent it should be required for its normal capacity then we can say see if the motility is good what does it mean means it's um, its nuclear functioning is good its uh, motility of the fun dna uh, structuring is good so only when they are morphologically normal have a good tendency to have a motility so it is an indirect indication that if the sperms having a good motility means they are of a good they are nearly about the normal morphology and normal morphology normal forms what we say about is normally it should be more than four percent 
means yeah about hundred out of hundred sperms we take at least four should be have a normal forms it means sperm having a, a acrosome it has a head it has a mid piece and a tail so all these structures should be normal to say whether the sperm is have is included in the normal form at least four uh, sperm should be normal which is done by hematoxylin staining okay and uh, yeah definitely uh, some part of antioxidants do improve the salmon parameters and also improving the lifestyle changes like having exercise regular uh, exercise and healthy habits avoiding any smoking or habits to any smoking or alcohol should be avoided which also have shown a direct effect on the sperms also uh, avoid intake of uh, long storage foods which is not good for for the sperms which has direct effect on its sperm functioning okay and um, so according to the sperm count we will advise them whether they can be tri naturally or whether they are fit into the category for iui or whether they have to go for ivf so le less than 5 million we take into consideration for opting them for ivf mm -hmm.